Hello there, and thanks for joining me for this Thought for the Day on Saturday. Oh, we've made it. We've made it to the end of the week, and the final one of this series on the Holy Spirit. And today's thought about the Holy Spirit, in many ways, is my favourite one of them. Uh, it's amazing news uh, that we're going to see today. It's really, it's really wonderful, uh, and it's really helpful in the Christian life. Uh, and that's because today's thought is about how the Holy Spirit is the seal of our salvation. The Holy Spirit is the seal of our salvation. And uh, to see that, let's uh, have a look in Ephesians. We're in Ephesians chapter 1 and um, verse 13. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession, to the praise of his glory. So these few verses go over a bit of the ground that we talked about earlier in the week, that the Holy Spirit unites us to Christ. Uh, and we're told here that we were united in Christ, uh, included in Christ, when we heard the message of the truth, the gospel of our salvation, because we saw yesterday that the Holy Spirit does his work using the word of God, the Bible. And so uh, he has united us to Christ. Uh, when we believed in him, something happened, we're told. We were marked, marked in our hearts with a seal, uh, a seal of authenticity, proving that we are genuine Christians. Uh, and not just Christians, genuine children of God, because that's uh, what Paul's talking about in Ephesians chapter 1. He says that uh, those who are Christian were chosen before time began to be heirs with Christ, children of God, those who can call God Father. And the Holy Spirit is the seal in our hearts of authenticity. Uh, that's God's mark on us that says, my child. And so whoever, whoever looks at us, uh, whether it's God looking from heaven and he says, oh, that's my child, who have promised that he will inherit the, the, the new creation as a co-heir with my son Christ. And so he's going to do everything he can to make sure we continue in faith and get there. Or if the powers of evil, the devil or, or, or the evil spirits, uh, if they look on us, they say, oh, marked as God's child, can't touch him. There's nothing I can do to try and take him away from Christ. A seal that guarantees our inheritance. Or another picture Paul uses here is a deposit. Uh, just like if you want to go on an expensive holiday, wouldn't that be nice at the moment, going on a holiday? Uh, then you pay a deposit to guarantee the fact that you're going to pay for the whole thing and get it. Well, well, here, um, God has paid his deposit. He's, he's paid the Holy Spirit into our hearts uh, as the down payment to say that I'm going to give you the whole thing. Just wait till Jesus returns and you're going to get the whole new creation. It's yours. You're going to inherit it as an heir with Christ. That's what the Holy Spirit means in the heart of the Christian. And doesn't this just give us amazing assurance? Uh, if, if we have been marked with the Holy Spirit, which everybody who's believed in Christ has, nothing can take us out of Christ. We are permanently united to him. So no, no matter what happens in our lives, no matter how coronavirus or anything else could affect us, we will make it to the new creation, which God will ensure we inherit. And the Holy Spirit is the seal of that salvation. How amazing. I hope that encourages you this week and gives you great joy. And let's give glory to God for it. Our Father, praise be to you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, because you have blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. And we thank you, Father, for applying those blessings to us by the work of the Holy Spirit. We ask, Father, that we would continue to have the spirit of wisdom, that we would continue to grow in knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ by his work, that we would know how secure our inheritance is with Christ, and that that would keep us going in living the Christian life, and that we would run that race Jesus has set before us with perseverance, knowing that our place in heaven is secure. Keep us going through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thanks again for joining me for this series on the Holy Spirit. We've got our virtual Sunday service tomorrow, so I hope you'll tune in for that. Take care. God bless.